And the second statement I'm going to give you guys is that the Broncos are going to host a playoff game this season. Like I said, tied for first right now in the AFC West, and they're first in the league in points allowed per game with only 8.7, especially really helped out that their shutout win against the Jets in Week 3, winning that game 26-0. And they're the only team in back-to-back weeks now against the Jags, now against the Jets, they haven't allowed a single red zone play. They've given them zero plays in the red zone. And that's a hell of a stat. It doesn't matter who you're playing, how bad of a team you're playing. That is impressive. Dave Bridgewater right now, he's a third in the league in quarterback rating and second in completion percentage. Um, going back to the points, the Broncos are 12th in points scored with 25.3. And they also have the largest point differential in the league. And the Vonster, he's back. And, and he, he's back almost better than ever right now because he's leading the league in tackles for loss at six. Got about five players tied at five. The Broncos are third in passing yards allowed per game. So that secondary unit is looking fantastic. They have four interceptions on the year right now as well. We thought they were going to be a top three at least um, um, defensive uh, secondary unit and they're kind of proving that right now they're um, also second in total guards per game and five turnovers in total but the problem is let's take a look at the strength uh, strength of the schedule because of course the biggest knock that you can give the broncos right now is that they've played the giants they've played the jags and they've played the jets three teams that have a zero in nine combined record and through the rest of the season through the last 14 games they have the third hardest schedule remaining. That's tough stuff. So obviously, they have a huge proven game against the Ravens at home in week four. So it's really good for them that, that, that the game's at home. Huge home field adventure. That, that Broncos crowd is loud, man. It was great to be back there. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not, not saying that the Broncos are hosting a playoff game this year. As of right now, with this start, they have a really solid chance of at least making the playoffs. Will they win the division? No, it's probably going. I mean, realistically, the Chiefs are going to win that division still, even the one and two. Realistically, they're not going to keep losing games, and they have a decent enough schedule where it, it's not too hard. Um, and, and they should be able to get their wins back. We'll see what the Raiders continue to do. Will they level off? Will they keep going? Um, and, and I think that that league, that whole division. It's just too early to call. It's too early to call, and the Broncos are not going to host a playoff game this year. But if they do, ooh, yep, I might have to consider dropping a pretty penny on that game. That's for sure. Last name I'll give you is that, taking a look from the AFC West to the NFC South, and that is that the Carolina Panthers are the best team in their division, of course, be uh, ahead of the Bucks, the Saints, and the Falcons. Right now, of course, they're top of the division at three and zero. Bucks and Saints at two and one. Falcons at um, one and two. The defense has been one of the top ones in the league in points, in yards, and in turnovers. And that offense has been really productive on the back of Christian McCaffrey. And Sam Durham, who, of course, is having a fantastic start to his season. He's about 900 yards passing, completing about 70% of his passes here. Three touchdowns to one interception. And, I mean, his his revenge tour is going well. He's undefeated so far, especially being able to be up on, those New York team, on that New York team. The Panthers are looking good. The Panthers are looking surprisingly good, actually. But the only problem is they're now without CMC. And they're now without J.C. Horn for extended periods of time. Turf sucks. It shouldn't be a thing. Both guys lost to non-contact injuries. Uh, Christian McCaffrey with a hamstring injury. And J.C. Horn with a broken foot from a non-contact injury. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. The Panthers are not the best team in the NFC South. It's it's more than likely the Bucs. Uh, the Saints could be there. Of course, they had a really good week one against the Giants. Or against the Packers, excuse me. Then they kind of crapped the bed against these Panthers. And then they were back again against the Patriots. Still need to see more consistency from that team. I'm not sold on the Panthers yet. But right now, they're in fan- They're looking really good. They're ahead of schedule in the rebuild. Because remember, they're in the middle of a rebuild. And this is a really damn good team to be when you're in the middle of a rebuild. <laughs>